What's up everyone? Kate here from MP Tennis. I have made it. I've made it to SNU, Southern New Hampshire University for tennis. We are here and I thought I would take you guys on a tour. So this is a very different video. This has nothing really to do with tennis. It's just to take you guys on a tour and show you guys the campus. Uh, we're going to be going through my room. Uh, the athletic facilities, the, just the campus in general, and of course the tennis courts. So stay tuned uh, for the whole video because there's going to be lots of different little things that I find are quite interesting and even some things that I didn't expect to see when I got here. So there's some fun surprises too that I'd like you guys to see. So let's go. All right, guys. So here we are. This is my room number 261. It even has my name on the door. I'll take you guys in. It is very, very nice. Still have to figure out the lights. They like to be dimmed sometimes. So I'll turn them on for you guys. I have a single room. The door is a little creaky. But here's my room in my bed. And I also have a little trolley over here that I can keep some goodies in along with my notebook that I like to write stuff in for reminders and stuff. And we even have my little gaming setup that I brought with me that I'll be playing um, some games on if I have some time. Although, I mean, there is some things that are scattered a bit here just because, oh, there goes the light, just because um, it's a little messy. Still getting settled, like I still got a suitcase down there. Things are a little all over the place right now. But this is my room. It's really nice. Once again, a single room. My tennis stuff is kind of over here in the corner. But yeah, that is it. Got the nice Canadian flag up there. I was actually lucky to get a single room because not everybody gets single rooms. Um, you actually have to request one. And I knew that I wanted one, so I had to get on the horn early with, it, with international uh, admissions and the housing people. Uh, just because I wanted to have one. So it is a really nice room. I'm super, super happy with how it looks. I even got a nice little look out here at the window. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but a little bit over there. Uh, there is the river and the highway is over there too. So, yep, super, super nice. And we'll take you around the campus now. So if we come out of my room here, we have a little study section off to the left and a nice little lookout as well of some of the campus. So they have a nice little whiteboard here. They have a couple of tables. They actually have this all the way down my hallway. The dorm, or like, sorry, the residence itself is really big. So there's two wings. This is my wing right here. And then they have one going down the other side as well. So yeah, let's take you through the rest of the building and then we'll take you through the campus. We also have another little study area, a TV. This is on the, my hallway, like I said. There's five floors, which is really cool. One thing that's really helpful is I have these things called RAs and they're on your floor and they're able to help any of the students that need help at any time. Once again, another little study area, whiteboard, TV, And they have laundry on every floor. And they have multiple bathrooms. They have men's, women's, and a private bathroom too. A couple on each floor. Another study area. <laughs> so we're approaching the end of my wing. And here's the elevators here. You can go in here if you'd like to do laundry. I've already done laundry once. It's nice. You just swipe your card right there and just kind of get on with it. Another little sit down area. It's like every floor they have one. Nice little atrium thingy here. Kind of look out. So pretty nice. And then if you go back down the other way, there's also another wing down here. And actually one of the other tennis players lives down that one that I've been spending some time with. So pretty cool. 
All right guys, so this is what the building looks like from the outside. As you can see, extremely nice. Like, can't ask for anything better. Um, I'm on the second floor. I think I might have said that already, but right now there's just some people moving in. I was here pretty early. On the first floor, we actually have like ping pong, pool, shuffleboard, um, and some other cool games and they even have like little kitchenettes or like what I, th I think that's what you call on every floor So if you do want to make food you can do that on every floor as well. So yeah super nice building and yeah All right guys, so we're gonna make our way towards the dining hall and the library, but we'll see some other things along the way So first building here we have on the right, coming up, right here, is called Exeter Hall. And it is for financial services, etc. And then on the left over here is the ISS, so International Student Services. They're really helpful. That's where I've been going a lot since I am an international student. And also the Green Center is in there, which is really helpful as well. So we'll keep walking. Yeah. All right, guys, so here's some green space here. It's a little uh, fenced in right now. I think they're just doing some repairs and stuff, but really, really nice. Nice green space. Wellness is right across the way right here. Student center, they call it, but I think wellness is in there as well. And that's where the international students are checking in, as you can see by that sign. All right, guys, so I thought I would also show you what it looks like from far away, so what you guys have just seen. So, like, the ISS building, financial services, wellness. That big, big building is my residence. It's called Kingston that we saw earlier. I'll get up here so you don't see just trees. I'll stop right here. So it's pretty nice. I still don't know my way quite around everywhere, but I'm learning every day more and more. So we have made it to the dining center. I'm not gonna go inside because I'm taking you guys for a tour, but it's really, really nice inside. The food has been amazing. It's day three already. I've been able to uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I can tell you that it has been very, very good. And you just swipe your card, you can take as much as you want. Obviously, I'm trying to budget a bit because I have only X amount on my card, but you can refill your card too. But we are also come library, which is right here. And I have already been in there. Very nice, a lot of nice buildings at this place. You can go in there to rent out books or if you need tutoring or even I've been in to talk to the IT guys because I need help with uh, my Wi-Fi and stuff. So they're going to give me some things to help with that. And even my PlayStation, I want to play a little bit with some friends at home and I'm going to be getting an Ethernet cable later today. So that's really nice. Thanks to the, the IT guys. Um, they've been really, really helpful. But yeah, that is pretty much so far. We've covered my dorm, library, dining center, uh, ISS, wellness, financial services, and I think that's it. But we're gonna show you some pretty cool stuff coming up. So this is another really beautiful building. This is an apartment. So if you're like, I think it might be second, third, and fourth year you can get an apartment really really nice I haven't been inside this one yet but from what I've heard it's very nice the walk that we're doing right now is actually the walk that I've done the past three days to the tennis courts with a couple of the guys so it's actually a really nice mini warm-up and cool down after because you can kind of walk it out after the practice so that is really nice we just walk back and forth every day so yeah all right, so we're getting closer to the courts, but one thing that I just thought about is when we were having our orientation, they told us about these public safety things, and I think it's kind of neat, so I'll show you that. 
They have these little emergency blue poles and if there's ever a problem, you can just click the button and somebody will come to you immediately. There's literally one of these every like 50 meters, like they're everywhere. So I think that's kind of cool. They just have a bit of public safety stuff um, on campus. Hey dad. <laughs> so pretty cool I think, just making sure people are safe. But yeah, we're coming up to on to the tennis courts now. All right, so we are coming up on the tennis courts, a couple feet away here. It has been really hot here. Like it feels like Florida. Like if anybody has ever been to Florida, they know it's really humid and really hot. It's been like 38, 39 here for the last couple of days. Really hot, so practice has been kind of crazy. Here are the courts, I'll flip the can around. They are very, very nice. So they are, I would say, in my opinion, one of the nicest courts I've ever played on. And I've played at the Nationals before and these courts are very, very nice. I actually like them because they're quite fast. I actually find I was having a little bit of trouble on them yesterday and the day before because they are so fast. And I think the altitude is a little bit different here too. The balls are flying. So it's kind of the first time I've had a little bit of those problems. So it's kind of interesting because you think about pros and stuff, how they're adapting to these situations all of the time. So yeah, the courts are quick. Here are the courts, a different view. I know the fence is a little bit in the way. There is six courts, one, two, three, four, and then we have two more over there. So far, I've only just played on these four right here. Um, the courts are only open to the snoo players, which is kind of cool. Uh, makes you feel special. Uh, so they're not allowed to have public uh, on there either. So really, really nice. So far, it has been awesome. All right, so we're just leaving the tennis courts now. I'm gonna be taking you guys down to um, the soccer field in our locker room, just to give you a quick tour of that. Now this, this is what I didn't expect at all. So I'm really excited to show you guys. This field that I'm about to show you is very, very new. I think it was just put in last year, I think the coach told me. So, super nice. We actually watched the women's preseason soccer game last year, or sorry, last night, and they won 5-0. So, go Snoo Penman. <laughs> so, it looks like we have a pretty good women's soccer team. So, that's pretty cool. Here is the soccer. Super, super nice. I'll be able to give you a closer look here because uh, there's a little break in the fence up here. So here we are. I mean, I don't think it gets any better from, than that if you're wanting to play soccer. And there's a track too that I forgot to mention. The stands are right there. Our lockers are down below the stadium. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, super, super nice in here. How can you not like it? We're coming a little emergency thing that we were talking about earlier, so that's kind of cool but I'll show you guys what it looks like in the locker here when we get in. All right guys, so we're coming up on the back of the building where we enter to go to the lockers. So it's very nice. So this is, look like, uh, this is what it looks like when we come in. There's a nice little elevator. We have where all the teams go. We'll go upstairs first. Others. Gotta get my mask on in here. You gotta wear a mask in all the public spaces. Nice. They have all the coaches' offices down there. Really nice. They have a little office area down there. We can cheer on the soccer team and the football teams and stuff. So nice little area to sit out and watch the games but I'll take you guys down to the locker room.
I don't think I'll be able to show you the, the, the weight room. Just because I don't think I can get in there. But I, might, I was in there the other day, so maybe I can attach that video to this video here. Gotta get my card out, just a sec. All right, so I just got in. Looks like you see all the athletes, all the teams we have. We go down here, this is where the athletic training room is. There's even some people now. Really nice, getting some treatments. Gotta get that physio in if you're, if you play sports. So lots of injuries, of course. So I'll be in there, I'm sure, at some point. But I'll take down to the lockers. I even have my own stall, so that's really cool. So here we are, men's tennis. So here we are. This is what it looks like. We have all of our lockers, so these are all of the players. So there is mine right there. That is pretty cool. Here's everybody's locker. It's very, very nice. This is where we'll be stringing too. So a lot of us will be stringing in here. The women also have their own, own room too. We got a nice TV, sink and showers. But yeah, this is awesome. I feel pretty special having my own, my own uh, stall. So that's really cool. So let's leave in here. So there you guys just saw the lockers, what it looks like inside the athletic training room. And that is once again inside the stadium for our soccer. So it's kind of cool how they have all of the sports teams lockers down there. Frig, it's hot out right now. Um, so that's a little tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm super excited to be here. And it's been an amazing first couple days. I don't start, start, excuse me, start school until this Monday being August 30th. So hoping everything goes well there. I'm taking sports management. So I'm really, really excited about that. But let me know what you think about the tour. And let me know if you think I should add anything into my room or anything that you guys want to know about the college journey so far. It's been pretty cool. So thank you guys for watching. And I need to go get in some air conditioning because it's really hot. So see ya.